I will have to say I am so proud to work for a governor whose vision includes Connect NC, NC Competes, and understands that historic preservation tax credits are yet another critical economic development tool for this state. His inspiration and vision are responsible for the idea of the coalition and of my tour. He is a tremendous supporter of Department of Cultural Resources, and he realizes not only is it important for economic development and job creation, but also for tourism, especially authentic tourism in this state. And most of all, it's important for the quality of life that we all know is so important for our state. As a cabinet member, I've seen firsthand his vision, his dedication, and his passion every day for North Carolina. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the 74th governor of the state of North Carolina, the Honorable Pat McCrory. Thank you all very much. What a beautiful North Carolina day. Right before I walked out, my staff, including Secretary Klutz, turned and said, wait a minute, Governor Yank, you haven't got a tie on. And I turned to him and I said, I don't wear a tie when we're in a fight for both preserving the history of North Carolina and fighting for the future of North Carolina, and especially fighting for Main Street, North Carolina, from the coast to the Piedmont to the mountains. And that's why you're all here today. It was we're fighting for the history of North Carolina and the future of North Carolina with a common sense solution, a common sense solution. And a lot of this is just pure common sense. It reminds me of the day two and a half years ago when Ann and I were walking from the executive mansion to this beautiful building built in 1841 to be sworn in as the 74th governor right on these steps looking down the main street of Raleigh. And as we walked by here, I noticed these two fountains were not operating. I noticed they were full of dirty water and full of trash. And I said, that's kind of odd as I'm walking to the platform. That doesn't look good for the state of North Carolina. Two weeks later, coming out of my office here, I noticed that the fountains were still full of trash and dirty water and not operating. And I finally turned to one of the state employees. I said, what's this all about? This beautiful historic building and this beautiful historic fountains, they're an embarrassment. And they said, oh, it's been that way for five and a half years. So I turned to Bill Daltridge and I said, Secretary Daltridge, get those fountains working again. And I'm noticing some mayor friends of mine in the audience. Rudy, I see you from Hickory, North Carolina, mayor for life in Hickory. And there have been mayors and town councilmen and business leaders in each of the small and large cities throughout the North Carolina who have known that they have to fix the main streets of their towns and cities, including their fountains, including their sidewalks, including their lighting, including their curb and gutter. Just like we do in our own yards, we got to fix it up and make it presentable. They're in for a fight too. They're going to join us in this fight. And this is part of cleaning up and preserving our main streets of North Carolina, not just for the past generation, but future, future generations, because we as governors and mayors and county commissioners and town leaders can fix the lights and the curb and sidewalks and the fountains. But if we don't preserve the buildings and let them turn to rot and blight, then we're not going to have a town or city in the future. We're not going to have travel and tourism. We're not going to have new jobs. And we're not going to have a town center that Secretary Scavarla and I can show off to people who are interested in expanding or bringing their business to North Carolina. Because no matter where we're selling North Carolina, when we bring the executive and their family, and they're the decision makers on whether or not they're going to invest, whether they're in a small town or large city, it doesn't matter, they're going to say, I want to see the town center. And if the town center is full of blighted, boarded up buildings with no productivity and potential crime and everything else that goes with that blight, we are not going to have a successful selling of our state or of that region or of that town. And they're going to pick and go somewhere else. 
And they're going to pick South Carolina, by the way, which just doubled their historical tax credit funding. Just doubled their historical tax credit funding. That's our competition right now. Main Street is the living room of North Carolina in every region of this state. And the Main Street shows whether the entire region is viable or not for a good quality of life and economic prosperity. And if we have vacant, boarded up buildings, we send the opposite message, no matter where you live. And ladies and gentlemen, we've got to do what Ronald Reagan understood, and that is we need to encourage private sector investment to rebuild these buildings and bring them back to life and create jobs, preserve our history, and also recognize that this Main Street is going to live for generations to come. That's the best of North Carolina. And I've seen it in Mebane, I've seen it in Hickory, I've seen it in, in Morganton, I've seen it in Rocky Mount, I've seen it in Tarboro, we've seen it in Edenton, we've seen it in New Bern, we've seen it in Charlotte, we've seen it in Greensboro, we've seen it in Nashville. The list goes on and on and on. Just a block of revitalization in a town center makes all the difference in the world. And once you preserve that one block, we preserve the next block, and then the next block, and the next block, and we overcome blight and decay and unemployment and high crime by preserving the history. And one of the great things about these buildings right here, including, I think, the most beautiful building in North Carolina, is you see the structures of these buildings. It's a good investment. Look at the top. You always know if it's a good quality building if you look at the top. And I'm not looking at it right now, but just look at the quality design of the top of this building. It's artistic work at its best. And it's something we have to value. And there are buildings like this in every town center in North Carolina, regardless of the size of city. And they deserve to be preserved and adapted and revitalized. And then when we do that, guess what happens? We create jobs. And then the cities will invest in lighting and sidewalks and fountains. And next thing you have is a town center where kids are playing in the fountain, adults are spending the money, residential's coming back in like it is in Mebane, North Carolina, and we're rebuilding the tax base. It's something that conservatives and liberals should agree on alike. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't even have a fight about this. This is how we're going to beat the competition. We can no longer stand still. I've been waiting as, I still call him Mayor Ross, with all due respect, Representative Ross. We've been waiting now for months after months after months. And there are projects that are waiting for this capital investment to revitalize blocks in every one of our towns and cities. And I'm growing impatient. That's why I took off my tie. It's time for action. There are people looking for jobs. There are people who understand that quality of life is the number one attribute that we have in North Carolina, and we can't lose it. In fact, we can expand it. Economic prosperity is, has unlimited potential in North Carolina. And it's our town center, it's our main streets that make the difference. And that's why I was sworn in as governor right on Main Street. I didn't do it in front of the old cultural building in a parking lot. I had no interest in overlooking a parking lot when I was sworn in as 74th governor. I moved it to here so I could look down Main Street. And that Main Street represents the main streets of all of North Carolina. And we're going to rebuild the main streets of all of North Carolina. And this is one of the many tools that we need to do just that. We need your help in the legislature today. We need action today. Thank you, and God bless each one of you. Thank you all very much. Go to the legislature. Thank you all. Thank you all very much.